What's up, guys? Welcome to Garrett Talks Football. Subscribe if you're new. Closing in on a thousand subs. I need that thousand to get monetized and start getting this money. Pay me back for all the hard work I've been putting in with nothing coming back in. But I appreciate everyone that subscribes. It would mean a lot. It takes two seconds and would make me smile. The next game, week one. Week one is so close, man. So close. I'm pumped. All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting off track because I'm just so excited. We got the 49ers and the Bears. The 49ers are a seven-point favorite. The over-under is 41 and a half. I like that over-under. It might even be under if you ask me. All right? Um, spoiler alert to the final, final score. Uh, Trey Lance and Justin Fields. I'm going to be frank. Not the biggest fan of either. I think they're going to be hot one game, off one the next. Hot one game, off the next. They're going to be very unpredictable. All right? Um, I love I love the 49ers coach, Kyle Shanahan. I'm a big fan of his. I'm a big fan of George Kittle, big fan of Elijah Mitchell, Debo Samuel, Trent Williams, right? They got the talent all around. The question literally is and only is, is if Trey Lance is ready. Now, I'm hearing a lot of buzz about how much – better he's gotten it's night and day it's night and day he's playing so much better the question's not about whether he can run with his feet that's never the question he's got that playmaking ability you know and I think this goes for Justin Fields and Trey Lance so just hear me out on both all right I'm talking about both the question's never been what they can do with their feet how they can how they can make plays longer they can be a playmaker they can stretch out the play they can break tackles. They can be dangerous. They can run for 60, 75 yards every single game. The question is, play decisions, right? Accurate balls, deep throws, passing yards. Are they going to have 300-yard games this year? You know what I mean? That's the question. And I simply do not know. I think as of now, I would trust Justin Fields over Trey Lance. But that's not saying much because I don't trust Justin Fields. I love David Montgomery on the Bears, right? I don't know all the weapons they have, right? Who do they really have that's going to be dangerous? It's not a good roster. Roquan Smith, sure, right? Justin Fields, yeah, big marketability. David Montgomery's a good running back. And I'm sure I'm missing one person here or there. I'm not perfect. I'm human. But that roster is nothing special. Bottom five. Bottom five. Now, I, th I think Trey Lance and company has a good roster. Again, it's the quarterback that we're questioning. Very similar situation, except the 49ers roster is better. Is Trey Lance a better quarterback than Justin Fields? Who knows? This is the year to find out. I think this is Justin Fields' make or break year. Trevor, Lo Trevor Lance, or excuse me, Trey Lance has a little bit more leash. So what I'm going to do in this cl close, tight, low-scoring game is trust the better coach. And in my opinion, that is Kyle Shanahan. I think he's one of the best coaches in the game, maybe behind Sean McVay. And Bill Belichick, of course, blah, blah, blah. Maybe behind Sean McVay. So with that being said, I think that the 49ers, Trey Lance will probably throw 150 yards. Justin Fields probably throw 220. They'll both each probably run for 75-80. But it's going to be a big run-heavy game. And when a run-heavy game, that means the clock goes fast. When the clock goes fast, that means the scoring is low. The 49ers will win this game 24-17, okay? Uh, where was that at on the over-under? 24-17, right? So that's 41. The over-under is 41 and a half, all right? I appreciate you guys watching. We're going to do this for every single game, every single week. Subscribe, please. Peace.